a huge welcome to this video I'm Scorpion from how to do and today we will be learning how to make a s simple Android third person game in unity using the playmaker system so first thing first I want to tell you guys that you cannot make any Android game using playmaker only because you will need some kind of uh, add-on or what I would say is a, a plugin I guess you so you need a plugin but all of these plugins are paid so I found this plugin it's called uh, third person touch system 1.1 so it's made by Kirin Apple 7 he's from Filmstorm Studios so uh, thanks for purchasing this from Filmstorm because I purchased it from Filmstorm but now when I uh, am looking to the site to give you guys the the link to that site so I cannot find that site because it says the site is not available which means that he has deleted the site so uh, I will just give give you these these things uh, this whole project uh, third person touch system for free alright so you don't have to purchase it anymore because he has deleted it so yeah so after that after you have to go ahead and click the link in the description box below and uh, download this guy first then if you don't have the playmaker go ahead click the link in the description box below and download playmaker for free and then you have to import the playmaker and you will be able to see these these folders all right the playmaker action folders all right so all right so let's see what it says uh, there we go so how to install let's see that so to install create a new project in unity 3d i have already done that then load playmaker into that three uh, unity 3d first so i have also done that then now import the filmstorm third person touch system all right which is this one double click that and you have to import it so it will automatically do that S just say import and it will do that it will take some time all right so meanwhile that's done let me just show you that uh, so in my channel i have made uh, made the playlist for the the GTA tutorial series alright so let me just show you that uh, there we go so we have these five series uh, the five tutorials series of GTA so if you haven't seen this yet go ahead and click the link in the description box below and you will find them there so after that you will see this folder right here so let's see what to do next and there it is so extract input manager dot zip and move and replace in the input manager dot asset to your unity project file uh, project settings alright so you have to do that go ahead go to here and extract this guy extract it and just copy it copy and go back to where your uh, your unity project is. it is in documents and my one is called android uh, this one go to project settings and just paste it over here and you have to say replace the file destination and it is also already done then uh, load demo scene level one leaving home to start play and, and you're done brought to you by film storm he's a really awesome guy i love him so that's done all right so let's go to here scene demo level S uh, don't save and there we go so if we play now it will give you an error or uh, it's not giving you now I don't know why but sometimes it does give you but here you go here is your guy running around like goofy and you can jump around if the camera can look around up and down bam 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 so it's really awesome so why is not giving the error so sometimes it does give you the error it is because oh shut up uh, wait a second where is it cancel it oh come on all right so let me just see sometimes it gives me the error it's not giving me now I don't know why but yeah it's working so yeah that's it if you guys have any error then go ahead and let me know in the comments i will try to solve that problem immediately but uh, when the error comes i don't know why it's not coming but when it is coming then you have to delete some folder i guess it's called the uh, i 
it's called the animation or animator folder all right so yeah but it's not giving giving me error anymore so i went i won't do that again so but it's working guys it's working let me just play it again to show you guys but you can also play it with wasd all right and you can also use the joysticks but i will use the wasd for the sake of now and you can also jump around and double jump and all that stuff so i i like it so now the problem is to change this goofy man all right so how to change that guy so in my case i don't have anyone so let me just go ahead and quickly import it so just wait a second so here i have imported this guy this is made by my subscriber he's really awesome guy so this man gta1 is made with the software known as mixmo fuzz all right so this is what we have but i have to drag and drop it over here and pull some materials to him uh, come on press f oh f there we go pull the material so why is he not getting these materials weird okay so i guess the canvas is getting in the way so let me just uh, there we go so you have to disable the canvas because it's getting in my way so pull these quickly uh, these are the shoes i guess this is the that and then his eyes uh, there we go so this is guy is fully rigged enable that uh, so let me just come back to GTA so this guy is fully rigged let's just go ahead and put him to humanoid it's already done and yep that's it so now what you need to do is you need to just go ahead and select your guy and just set uh, say, uh, say reset and place it right inside this robot then go ahead and rename this guy from gta1 to uh, player go in player system and drag and drop your player under the player model which is this goofy man all right and then you have to just go ahead and copy the component the character controller paste inside your player paste as new come back copy this movement paste it again then come back copy this last one uh, and paste it over here there we go now what you need to do is you need to just go ahead and disable this guy come back to your player and go to movement and say edit in here what you have to do is and uh, the film storm guy has already told you set player object important make sure you do this first otherwise the game won't work so you have to drag and drop your player inside this game object all right now it will work properly i guess so and then you have to come to the falling detector and okay so now what you need to do is you need to just open up your uh, player model and go ahead and drag these things the camera follow and all of these guys inside your player continue okay now do that and now what you need to do is you need to just go to your player and set the character controller to the 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 where is it uh uh movement yep movement there we go come back there we go the movement all right and say animate physics always animate do that and then what you need to do is you need to just go ahead and set your player to player tag make sure that come in here can character position compass edit let me see if you have to change yep you have to change this guy player all right then you have to go in here uh all right and then you have to come in here and see if we have to change anything i don't think so so let me just see if it's working or already or not yep no yep no yep no so the uh, actually the camera is working and he can move around but you can see the 
compass right here is not actually doing the right thing so you have to change something about that compass so what is this compass so this guy uh, right so input direction compass you have to change something about that hmm let me see why oh, it's not working I did it last time and I was really frustrated why it's not happening and then I finally came up with something you have to change something I don't really remember okay just wait a second I will just do that alright so I know what to do now so you have to go to the player and go ahead and select the character position compass say edit and set character as parent and you have to drag and drop your player inside it and I guess that's that I guess so so let's just play and see does that works and there we go alright so uh, yep our character is already running around he can jump we can look around and yeah that that's awesome he can collide and do all that stuff so I guess that's it hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did then subscribe to my channel which is how to do and in the next video I will be uploading uh, the video on how to uh, add some buttons touch buttons in here alright so yeah go ahead and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up if you want you can also donate me some money through PayPal I will really appreciate your your uh, acknowledgement <laughs> but yeah that's it I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video till then be cool